Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So um, today we're going to be just doing a little bit of test driving on the Fitlet, which is right down there on top of the big computer. Um, so I have to have it down here because I don't have a big enough uh, LAN connection to bring it over. So this video is probably not going to be the same high quality I usually have, just because of what I want to do is just sh uh, play with this, really. I mean, I booted this into OpenSUSE for a little bit, um, but I uh, didn't really do much with it just to see if it would boot. So now we're actually using my Debian build, and I'm on Debian Cinnamon this time because uh, the, what was going on with the camera issue is um, the Wayland just does not seem to be working right with the camera, I think. So I switched over to Cinnamon, which should not give me any problems. So, of course, I have a nice uh, new heat sink on the top of this guy. I have audio coming out the front here. Where's that? There we go. Um, and then I have my uh, camera is here. My microphone is plugged in over here. I have HDMI running over here, which is on, uh, where's that, full HD. I have a power cable, uh, Ethernet, of course. My operating system is actually in the USB right here. So this is running on the Fitlet on the USB recording HD video. So that's why it's probably not going to be a very good recording. Of course, I have my unified receiver for my keyboard and mouse over on the other side. And let's go ahead and bring that back up. So um, basically, I just want to, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a delay um, here. This is probably just because it's the full size. Um, are we pushing a fit lit, uh, Fitbit, to, or what, not a Fitbit, a Fitlit computer to its limits? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so in fact, let's see what I can find as far as a system ma manager here. Uh-oh, we froze. So you can see that it is, I mean, it's not, no, I don't want, I have Mate, thank you. Uh, you'll see right now it is, it is uh, very, very laggy. It is way, way less laggy on, um, uh, on uh, when I'm not recording the video. In fact, I think what I might go ahead and do here is let me actually um, cut the video size down and then we'll see what we can do and maybe we'll even play with it a little bit without video on at all. So you can see here what's going on. All the CPUs right now are sitting here at 100%. <laughs> My memory's at 1.2 gig. Um, so I really think the camera's doing a lot. So let's see what happens when I drop the camera down a little bit. So I usually would use a camera about this. You can see it's still pretty much mask, maxing out the CPU. Um, running the camera. Let's just go ahead and kill the camera and see what that does. So it's dropped down a little bit. Um, now, the CPU is not running nearly as high when I was over on, uh, over on KDE. Let's just go ahead and see what's going on. But of course, I wasn't running simple screen recorder right then. You can see it is, uh, it is a little bit sluggish, not nearly as sluggish as it was. But um, let's just go ahead and see what happens. Um, go into the terminal, and uh, I'll go ahead and install Bluefish on here, see, see what I can do here. So kind of the goal is here is to see what can we do with um, what can we do here with um, with a fitlet. My my goal was to see what type of microcomputer I can really do a lot of good processing. Of course, these things do have have pretty good processors. Um, of course, they're probably the lower power ones. So let's uh, let's see. I want to do that. I want to do about pretty much maxing the whole thing out right now. I don't even know if it's still recording video. So obviously, even though we are running a, a uh, quad-core computer here, uh, make sure that we're, um, uh, let's see. There should be a, an about system in here somewhere. 
Let's see. I just want to see more about the system. All right, so it looks like it did finish installing an application for me. Let's see. Terminal. Definitely don't try and do multiple things at a, at a time. No. I just want to see the, um, there you go, system info. That's what it is. Show you what the specs are here. Now, mind you, I did not get this, uh, this computer uh, was not given to me for the purpose of doing this type of stuff. So we're just kind of seeing how far we can push this thing on. Uh, processor. So here's your processor, AMD A10 Micro um, with full graphics on here. So it is sitting here pretty high. Um, I'm going to guess a lot of it here has to do with, uh, with running simple screen recorder at the same time. So my kind of my task is the question is can we run can we use a computer like this for basic um, basic operations can I build a website on this can I can I take this guy out in the field can it be an appropriate computer and that's what kind of what my question happens to be now so let's see okay so here we have bluefish editor here looks like Cody's crashed a few times all right so this is what I might use if I were uh, creating a, a website. So let's just go ahead and create a new document. Let's do I don't know, have not actually manually coded an HTML document in a while. That seems decently responsive. Let's see what happens. Okay, so save. It took me about three or four seconds for save to get up. Also, keep in mind we are recording HD on Simple Screen Recorder as we do this. Still going, still going, still going, still going. There it goes. There we go. Come on, Firefox. Can you load three bits? There you go. All right, this is text. <laughs> okay, so it looks like as far as... I would not use a fitlet if you're trying to do productivity and if you're trying to uh, record at the same time. So if you're trying to record anything, tutorials, probably not going to work out very well. Um, I'm going to shut off the camera now and I'm going to run these same types of things. I'm going to look at the system resources, see what I get there, and we'll come right back on here in a bit. Okay, so uh, we are back. Um, so you can see I switched desktops back over to Plasma uh, so I could uh, experiment, see was there, is there any issues there. So what you see here in my memory spike, as you can see right here is right when I, like this is where I started Simple Screen Recorder. This is where I, I uh, started recording right before the video cut in. So you can see it is Simple Screen Recorder that is pushing the processor to its absolute max. Um, so definitely if you do want to use a fitlet computer for kind of microprocessing, I would uh, probably refrain from using a lot of, um, uh, refrain from using the um, uh, re screen recorders, things like that. You can see it is kind of maxing out the CPUs. Um, I'm really not doing anything else here. So that is kind of, that's what's going on with, with this. Now, offline tests, um, everything worked way faster, way snappier. Even this here is, is snappier than I would anticipate it to be. Um, I actually would thought that the uh, cinnamon menu might work a little bit better even under the stress and the load, but actually KDE East does seem a little bit more responsive with the maxed out CPUs than does, uh, than does cinnamon, um, which is 
I think, expected. I mean, it's almost in a way unexpected, but almost in a way expected for those that know KDE. It is actually known as a fairly light desktop for being as advanced as it is. Um, Cinnamon is a little bit heavier. Uh, I still love Cinnamon. I don't really care if it's a little bit heavier. I'm not usually using these. But this does tell me if I do actually want to get a bunch of fitlets for small production stations, I'd want to run something like, um, you know, something lighter like KDE or something rather than running Cinnamon, which is actually good because I can get these set up the same same level of productivity as, as I like my Cinnamon. So you could either or. So anyway, um, you know, this is just a, a real quick test, see how the um, how a modern operating system works on the Fitlet PC. Um, overall, it's, I mean, it works pretty good. Um, it's not, uh, certainly not by any means the the best computer in the in the history of the world for this type of stuff if you want to do a lot of computing but uh, this is a very awesome tool I cannot wait to install PFSense on it and actually put an action there where it is about 50 times better than my uh, the CPU on my current router uh, so that's really what the purpose of this computer is I just wanted to see what could it really do uh, as far as uh, as good computation and you know it it's it does just fine if I'm not running the uh, if I'm not running a screen recorder so that's kind of my my final take on it just don't use it if you're going to be wanting to run tutorials and certainly not a good YouTube camera or a YouTube computer for sure um, but uh, it certainly does its job it's it is performing very well when the uh, when the screen recorder is not turned on it is running applications I'm I'm gonna play with it here a little bit more and I'll come back on with another video clip if I find that necessary but I'm not sure it is okay so I did a little bit more testing there's a few other things I wanted to see uh, bef while well, simple screen recorder was not running uh, just so I didn't get you know kind of biased results that we seem to see from simple screen recorder um, the next thing um, of course, I, I already did some terminal stuff. I went on and opened up GIMP. Now, it takes about twice as long for GIMP to open up on this computer as it does on the other computer, which is the, you know, the it's uh, it's just a, a low-end standard tower, low-end Lenovo standard tower, 6 gigs of RAM. I don't remember anything about the processor. Um, the... Uh, Writing documents worked fine. I opened up Thunderbird, uh, looked at email, no problems there. The last thing I was really interested in, how would Cody respond? And so I went in and Cody actually ran fine. I could play video, I could play music. Uh, everything's there is fine. The one thing I did notice is that my uh, volume adjust keys on the keyboard, they're very, very slow to respond. Now, like I said, this key keyboard is a little shady, so I don't know if that's the keyboard or the system, um, but I, I did encounter that as, as one other problem. So uh, there we have pretty much uh, an, an overall gamut of, um, of adjustments for, uh, for this system. So this is the Fitlet PC. It's a quad core. It is the um, uh, XA10, I think. Um, it actually, I mean, I'm really looking forward to using this as a router and maybe I'll also test some really light distros on this, see how it works with like Peppermint or something like that. I think that might be a, be a neat, neat thing to use. It does respond better using uh, KDE than it did Cinnamon. I did not test Mate, which is also on this distro, but, um, I did test Cinnamon, did, did test, um, Plasma and, um, uh, Plasma is definitely is is more responsive with it. So if I were uh, building out a system to use specifically on a Fitlet and I wanted a, a more modern operating system, I'd use uh, I'd use KDE. Um, it seemed to work a little bit better. Uh, so uh, that is uh, that is just a brief test of the Fitlet PC. I think the next thing I'm going to do is actually install PFSense on it now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full full video on that. Um, it just for uh, just for the privacy of you know what's on my network and how things are set up for security but I will certainly walk through as many steps as I safely can share uh, without compromising the security of my network um, so uh, with that being said um, thanks for watching everybody if you would like to help support what we do here at switch to Linux you can go to switch to linux.com forward slash support and learn about the current ways to help support this channel so thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.